Hey everyone, welcome back to my latest trapping video. Today I'll be showcasing some clips from the community. Today's community clips were sent in by Scro. By the way, if you have sent me any community clips over the last month, please send me a reminder. I have not made any videos in the last month, so I am a little bit behind on my upload schedule. And if you send me a reminder, I may be able to get those in. It looks like he actually took a ton of rallies. Uh, again, today's video, it will be Scro on his rally party trap. He's going to be taking a lot of full counters on his trap here and he's doing it on purpose to uh, basically make it so they keep hitting him. Again, the Sanctuary is going to be saving at least 60% of his troops, so he is taking bigger hits than he normally would just to get more rallies and he'll be getting 60% of these tier 2 back, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Obviously, it is a pay to play method of trapping. Keep in mind, this is not the free to play way, so if you're a free to play player, don't do this, you'd be losing 40% of your troops every single rally. So, or 40% of these uh, reds will be, uh, will you not be, you will not be getting back. So again, this is a pay to play way to do it. And again, the reason why he's doing this is because if he ever does counter them and doesn't let them counter him, uh, they will obviously know he's online and stop hitting him. And he's just trying to get as many leaders as possible before he actually, actually has to like, either migrate or uh, whatever, depending if they have their pardon or whatever it is. Again, if you have like six plus leaders, there's a good chance they will pardon, so you may have to migrate if you're doing this as well. Uh, obviously, you want to do it before you burn, because the last thing you want to do in this situation is burn. Keep in mind, he's been taking some of these in range formation. Usually, a full counter is better to take in range wedge than range formation, but if they do send a mix, range wedge is actually the worst formation to be in for a mix attack, so... Uh, there, there's also that, so you can see the first guy who was a uh, who was a max account, pretty K, hit him. Uh, that was a mixed attack, so obviously do not want to be in rage wedge for that one, because uh, again, it's a maxed mixed account, mix march, and they actually can walk back from like. 50 or 60 million troops, I've seen it. Uh, so you do not want to be sitting in range watch for that one. But the rest wasn't too bad. Uh, he's just taken like six mil on a counter now for most of these. Here comes another infantry one carpeting in. Um, again, I don't know why they're speeding in the carpets because uh, if he's offline, he's offline. Um, and he, he's been taking like four or five counters already, so it, it's, it looks pretty obviously that he's offline because he hasn't swapped. So you can see his comp is getting low now, so he does have to start thinking about maybe countering the next couple or maybe taking one more full counter before he does. Again, he has five of their leaders at this point, so there's always a uh, uh, kind of a question like, what do you do? Do you want to take another one? Uh, there's a chance you start might start burning pretty soon if you do this. Also, if you take too many counters, uh, you may not be able to take multiple rallies at the same time. There's a little bit of game lag going on. I'm not sure what's going on. You can see Mini X5 was the leader. And he, yeah, most of these leaders that are hitting him are really top tier leads, like just below like max account leads, uh, kind of around that. And he'll be showing us his stats and stuff as well here, just so we can actually see what kind of stats he's taking it in. I believe he does have a real set uh, that's a little bit better than his current set, and he will be doing some rally party trapping pretty soon on it. Uh, you can see he's only like low 500s in this set. Nothing crazy. Uh, he won't be running any pack fives on his wall since he has so many troops. It'll just be normal kind of whatever, just basically non or Familiars that don't uh, trigger at a certain percentage, because again, if you have so many troops, it's really hard to trigger any of those percentage-based familiars, pack fives, the even the pack fours and stuff like that. So anyways, another one's coming in, another infantry. Uh, he took one more counter there. So now that he's taken that counter, his range is probably pretty low. Um, let's take a look. Oh, actually, it was an infantry for that one. Never mind. So uh, what he did there was a little sneaky. He actually swapped to infantry. Uh, that, may, that, that makes it look like he didn't get... Uh, that way makes it look like he didn't counter them, but uh, they might have also think that he might be switching over to like tier four. That's why the the damage is less, or maybe since he's in wedge or something, they're hitting cav with a little bit of range or something like that. That's kind of what he's doing there. If he had swapped to cav there and full counter them, they'd be like, oh okay, so now now it's definitely cav. 
Uh, did he swap his front line and they might be getting a little bit more uh, worried at that point? Where at this point where he took infantry on infantry, it, it does kind of look like he might have still got a little bit of countering troops there and might have some tier four if, if they're smart. We'll see. Uh, so again, this guy's going to go in. It's going to be an infantry, I guess two more infantry blasts here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it looks like uh, I think Skrull is going to take the first one and then he's actually going to counter the next one. Uh, maybe it looks like at this point uh, they've actually swapped troop types, so maybe they'll keep going after that. Uh, maybe not. So we'll take a look and see what his comp is after this as well, because again, uh, it should be getting quite low after that last hit, especially that last counter, because I'm pretty sure that was, a, that was a big one. It was like 1.4 mil tier 5 in there, or yeah, tier 5 in that one. So that only, only did 1.4. Uh, I did 6.7, yeah, so it started to hurt a little bit at this point, so uh, I does have to be a little bit careful here. Um, has to start thinking, uh, is it time to migrate at this point? Uh, does he have enough leaders, all that stuff? Because if they're going to pardon, they might pardon soon, especially after that 3.7 mil they saw. Uh, if they were smart leads, they would probably know that he swapped formations for that one because, again, there's you usually see a bigger might drop of them of him losing tier four before it actually swaps to a different formation. So let's say he's in range wedge. Uh, they will have to get through some of his tier four first before it even swaps over to the cav sort of thing. So if they see that, it's like, ah, uh, I didn't see the big enough drop there. It looks like he might be online and countered. Um, or if they're if they're not paying attention enough and they're just like hoping he's offline, they'll keep going. But uh, you never know at this point, and you never know when they're gonna hit that pardon button. You just lost all those troops for not catching any leads. So uh, that's what Scrow's getting ready right now. He's getting ready to actually migrate. He set a uh, bookmark. He's looking to see if they're setting or not. Uh, it's not a good indication if they're only setting one. If they're setting more than one, then yeah, they, they'll keep going. But if not, it's a, it's an interesting indication. This guy's quite strong, though. Ooh, he's uh, another max account, 190. Uh, I think Scrow's getting a little worried that uh, he might burn on this one, too, since he does not have insane stats, and his comp is getting a little bit low. Um, I mean, I don't think he should burn with uh, his backline that he has. He's got enough tier 4 and all that, but you never know, because... Again, these max accounts, they walk back from so many troops nowadays. It's its starting to get a little iffy if you don't know how well your your account takes these lower troop comp mix rallies. Because for me personally, I, I know my accounts and what they can take. But if you don't take a lot of rallies with like your, your comp when it's smaller, you actually don't actually know if you can cap it. You might want to start to... Uh, migrating at this point because this guy KD Nana 2008 is pretty strong so um, yeah so he's getting ready we'll see if he actually decides to take this one or actually just migrates here he I guess he decided just to cut the losses here take the migration to scroll uh, basically keep all the leaders so that way they can't uh, what's called pardon keep in mind if you're going to migrate to another kingdom make sure you guys have or you know the people who have the uh, the wonders so the, the other people don't just pardon when you when you move kingdoms so you can see here who he actually ended up with he ended up with seven leaders uh pretty much a leader from every guild a lot of them actually are more from brz and a lot of these guys are pretty top tier accounts we will go, we'll go through the reports here at the end as well uh, to show you what actually happened um how many losses in each who are the leads and all that but you, you'll see a uh, a pattern from all the leads here they are quite strong and obviously, uh, yeah, you can see that probably from the damage. So I guess he's going to kill some of them as well. I'm not sure why. Um, I guess he decided some of them didn't want to ransom or whatever it was. But a uh, couple of them have already shroomed. But uh, yeah, again, he doesn't really have to worry too much because even if there's some guilds that migrate in, he can actually get some of the stuff from the Sanctuary because he probably has like 30 or 40 million troops in the Sanctuary right now after all those hits. Because uh, again, you, you get 60% back from the uh, Divine Resurrection of Fried Providence. I always forget which one's which. Well, anyway, so let's go through some of the reports. So here was from T4K, 190 Castle Stars, uh, 395 Stars, 51 Blessed, quite good. Uh, this is the one he actually countered. It was an infantry, 1.4 million Tier 5 in there. Did do a crazy amount of damage, 515 to his front line, 900k from the Pack 5s. Then there was Bella XOX. Let's take a look here. 
Let's see who uh, this is. 175 castle stars, 300 artifact stars, bunch of mythic champ and all that. Again, another high high tier five uh, inf blast. Again, this is what you're kind of expecting from black or this guy is actually probably the weakest in all of it. 96 castle stars. Uh, did two mil. <laughs> this is the one he took infantry and infantry. Of course, he picked like the weakest person to uh, not not let them counter. I mean, you could have picked like the 190 castle star guy, but nope, you picked the, <laughs> you picked the 90 one. But maybe that's why they thought he uh, didn't counter because the guy was weaker. So maybe it was really smart. There you go. Scroll is being super smart on that one. Uh, pick the weakest guy to not let counter just so it makes it look like he's a he's a noodle. So anyways, here's Mix uh, a Mini or uh, Mini X5. This guy was strong. Yeah, 180 castle stars, 400 plus artifact stars, 450, 59 blessed. Pretty good infantry set there. He's got some Mythic 12 on his boots. 6.1 Ulysses here. 6.4 another. <laughs> this guy's even stronger. 180 castle stars, 500 artifacts. Uh, Pretty K was probably the strongest person to hit him. He had 190 with 714, pretty much a max account there. And then he did not take the hit from uh, Nana at the end, just because there's a chance he might burn with that little troops. Anyways, shout out to Scroll for sending in the clips today. If you want to send in clips and be showcased on the channel, all you got to do is add me online. My line is Predator XVX, it is in the description down below. If you uh, don't have any clips, that's totally fine. You enjoy watching, hit the like button if you like the content, subscribe if you like all that. Also, if you missed my videos yesterday, I did post some videos from taking some uh, max account, emperor accounts on my, uh, my rally trap. Go check those out. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.